Hello everyone, my name is Tokriva and this is Europa Universalis 4 and it's now just spring in Russia which means there's a wild winter. A uh, mild winter, not a wild winter. Anyway, um, yes, we when we left off last time we were fighting in the deserts near Ankara, Ankara against the Ottomans, their last forces most likely. Um, yeah, there's still a double amount in this army but it's going to be fun but yeah we are sieging up most of eastern part of the ottoman empire because the russian empire is stronger a lot stronger you can build constables i can build an armory why can i build armory i must never be able to build an armory that's the whole idea of russia at least my russia oh look at this people dying quite quickly because we are now destroying the last remnants of the Ottoman Empire army. Armies, Ottomans, at the O. Uh, manpower, 4,000. Almost nothing. Most of the army is artillery also. So yeah, this is doomed. Ottomans are doomed. I guess we can get another level 5 fortress in... Where is our capital? Here is our capital. Buildings. Uh, sure, spy agency first. Just finishing all the buildings up until the max level. Battle of Ankara, 1, 5.46. Where are they running? Perfect, running south into Konya. Um, we do arrive a few days later, but that should not be worrisome. Oh, we actually finished uh, relations with the um, Teutonic Order. Hopefully they don't keep running, because that would be annoying. No, they're actually just running into Konya, so that's where we can catch them again. And we catch them already now. Wow, you can see the difference in speed of leaders. Their uh, movement really helps. Um, constables, well, they're, well, you do need a constable soon in Gaffa. Because, oh, managed to convert Karalia back from Protestantism. Yay. Oh, what? Austria, really? You're sending your army in here? Why would you do that? Anyway. Good, now they're running west to Hamid. Uh, which is the smallest party that's left? You guys. Um, you guys are actually just going to siege up. So I need to deselect you. And follow them into Hamid. I mean, I don't need more than two of the armies now. And the other two can just go siege. Siege mode engaged. Um, almost another colony finished, by the way. Annexing Kazan, 90% done. Korn Saka, also very far. Um, Josef Glinski, oh god, he was such a good leader. Oh, what? Um, crap. That's a bit less helpful that we just lost our sole leader in this group. Oh well. Let's see what happens now. Well, it's, it's 11,000 versus 50,000. 5 to 1 advantage. Seriously. And mostly artillery as well. So, yeah, look. 3 infantry, the rest is artillery. And their infantry is now almost dead. 160 infantry left, 150. Nine, over 9,000 men, though. Um, oh, there they lost, like, a lot more. Yep, that was all their infantry. They just got completely wiped out. Counting houses. I went one over here. Battle of Hamid was one. Good. Where are you running now? To Mentis. Okay, let's follow. Yeah, this is uh, this war has gone back and forth a little bit. I mean, we're still behind on war score from battles, but the occupation of the Ottomans is helpful. Most assured. Whoa, what just happened? How the hell did they reinforce that many at once? That's a bit scary. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it. I'll get a constable there in Crimea. What is this like? No leader, minus three. They got a good, strong leader. But we are way, way outnumbering him. Three to one. 
And I think after this group we need to pull back or at least get one of our leaders involved as well. Huh. Then this. Wait, what? Okay. Um, Kazan is apparently the attacker here. Ah, oh, there's a breach in the wall, not a lot of people, so let's assault. Let's just go in and just murder everyone. Definitely doable. 846, 774, 707. Good, good, good. Come on, just kill them all. 31138 and siege almost one saka province good earth rampart and back to the army over there 95 54 just 13 wow there we go that's the end of that um i want you to go into konya haha <laughs> the kasani cannot run further because they wasted all their men their morale on this, uh, on my siege. They didn't like that at all, of course. Oh well, sucks to be them for now. Uh, anyway, um, only for 6% more. Um, which is just 5 months. In 5 months. We are severely expanding our empire. And apparently... Oh, Polotskian nationalists. Oh, Lithuania, I hope you fall apart. Then I can get some of it. Yeah, it seems that we are definitely winning that. Izmir, yes, follow to Izmir. Uh, revolt in Sinop. Hmm. Ah, improved with uh, Britain. Oh, we only have 7,000 left. They're still not moving. So I'll keep the siege where it is. There we go. Mostly cannons. Only cannons. Disputed succession during a Pomer Lithuania's disputed succession. Hello, so what if you die? Succe uh, secession war between Russia and Austria. Really? Really, Austria? That's annoying, definitely. So why have they got a better claim on them than, the, than we do? Who is actually... Russia and Austria. Does that mean that... I am the one... Would I already gain the nation, but Austria doesn't dispute that, maybe? Not sure. Uh, maybe if we could just get a royal marriage, let's see what happens then. We've entered it. Still success. I know that. That was the whole point of it. Ah, we're done here. Um, Let's see, up this city of the world's desire. You can go deal with that group of rebels now. Yeah, let's see, up their uh, capital of Constantinople, Istanbul, not so much Byzantium anymore. Workshop, no, still impossible. Oh, we actually found find 2,000 more troops to kill, very useful. Also, yeah, um, them owning their capital actually uh, is having the cap wait what just happened siege Ruska to Serbia Kosovo to Serbia release Bulgaria as a sovereign state Bef hello Bulgaria um mm, distance between borders we're too far away for Bulgaria no um how many do we have seven out of six right yeah let's start improving our relations with them Anyway, we've won the fight. Uh, Russian Imperial Army, you can go back to Bryansk. The St. Petersburg all the way to Neva. Apparently we run a weird direction. Uh, Muscovy can go to Muscovy, Moskva. And my last army over here, Ural, you could go back to the Azov. There we go. So Bulgaria has been freed. Serbia got two pieces left back of land. And France is still fighting wars. Ah, dude's back. Maybe our relations with Lithuania need to be a lot better for just succession to be successful. Well, let's start on that then. Not entirely sure, but there will be war between me and Austria if 
the king of Lithuania dies today. There will be a war. And I know right now I have the advantage in troops heavily. But right now we do need to move them back into our country. Also, that manpower is just out of control. Maybe we should just try and get to 50 with 1 million manpower. How would that even... Wow. That would be insane. Oh, sure, we'll get a regimental camp in, uh, in Neva. Because we have our march finished. So, Lithuania. Huh. The nationalists... Integrating Kazan, we have it. Perfect. We have been informed the diplomats of Russia have stopped uh, with... Hooray! Oh my god. Yes, let's start the conversion processes. Wow, that takes a long time. Um, you guys, you can go on... Actually, I need you to go all the way over here to... By Yoli and be helping there. So, whoa, now our name really stretches nicely. And this little bit of red is really annoying me. Oh, yeah. So now we have um, Tartar, a lot of Tartars, Tartar sauce. Also, Uralic, still not accepted at all. That's the wrong one. I needed this one. Um, Uralic. Well, it's only two more provinces. Uh, would be 200 to convert it. And I don't think we have anyone. No. Lithuania just left the coalition, so that's impossible. Uralic isn't... Yeah, Russia. Russia. Oh, wow. No, wait. That's mostly Lithuania still. Oh, well. So Poland has been... Oh, that's okay, though. Poland, then Latvian, Estonian, huh, interesting. Um, Old Prussian, Prussian. Yes, it looks good, all looks good and well. Are you almost there? Just one more. Um, Nizhny, no, ooh, Nizhny, Nizhny is good. Where is Nizhny? Here is Nizhny. Um, yeah, let's, if it moves, tax it. Bam, 0.6 every year for a few years. Okay, you can now go do this and you need a leader. Anatoly Gregorin. Go to Excelente. Start coring. You can go here and you can go there as well. Last bit of mainland. Russian. Okay, let's just... I know, this is a bit weird, isn't it? I should just put on a patrol. Start patrolling, why the hell not? We'll notice it quickly enough anyway. If that even works. Manchu and the Oirat Horde are a bit uh, busy with each other. The question is, what can actually be Tanituva? That's actually a small, tiny, future nation of... What was it called again? Oh yeah, communism. It's uh, it's one of the nations in Hearts of Iron 3. That gets a bit more... Anyway, not that it matters that much. So, so many armories to be built, though. No, all the armories. Ah, first conversion done. Um, next, that was actually the slowest. There we go, send another. Timurids, yeah, I think we could just attack them. Who are the allied Ottomans? Yeah, they're allies with the Ottomans. Right now, I don't want to fight the Ottomans. Not particularly. Teutonic Order, still doing great. Lithuania, oh my, Polotsky Nationalists. The Ukrainian Nationalists. Oh, them as well now. Huh. They seem to be having some issues with rebels right now. 
Still the succession war? Yes, apparently so. Bavaria have discovered cancel right access. Um, great man died. Our army reformer is dead. Um, land force limits. Reinforce speed. Ooh, good question. Mm, I'll take the reinforce speed. I mean, doesn't really matter that much for uh, the other one. So, I actually want a slower. Which also means that one of these can get an armory without issue. Uh, I think it was this one. Yeah, Corral Puck. I still need to have some space for uh, my friends to go once they're done. Um, constable. Oh, is it done here? Yes, then I want to get Constable here. I need some production increases over there. Wow, 1.4 in Tambor Nizhny, not even a Constable. How can that be? Um, 1, 1. 1. 1.4 in these two, I think that's the best. 1.4 here as well in Bashkortostan. Wow. There is a lot of money to be gained still. Money, income, yes, good. An example to us all, gain a grand captain. As the army is starting to enjoy the fruits of our increased favor, many young officers are looking for opportunities to distinguish themselves. One captain in particular stands out. He even cuts a striking figure. And then they show a boat. A ship. Ah, silly. Armory, yeah, I can build one there, but I want to convert it first. Can build one here though because we finished our fortress apparently. Ooh, wiping out Sunni religion always so good, satisfying for sure. Oh look, Bulgaria is completely orthodox. They like that a lot. Um, Serbia, how good are you? Ah, oh, plus one hundred. Oh, let's improve a bit more. We have six out of. S we oh right, Kazan, we got them. They would accept a royal marriage, but distance between borders is the biggest issue between us. And vassalizing them. View of military power is greater. Friendly attitude, diplomatic relation. They, there's no trust between us yet. That's the problem. There's no trust. Um, target of no coalition. I love that. Allied to Denmark, Poland, Bavaria, and Tusk Poland again. Pomerania, not this time. Oh, they are allied with France, though. Yeah, that's a bit more concerning. An alliance with France is always concerned. Um, how far ahead are we? Not that far. Just not, not even. Oh. Okay, then I'm just gonna wait for tech again. We've converted another place. Sent to the next. And at the same time, start building an armory in Bayuli. So, most of these are actually accepted culture as well. Just the Kazakh knot and the Uzbek. Oh, we have an Uzbek province now. Um, let's see, we do want this. Do we want this as well? Yes, I do. So, let's go to diplomacy. Let's fabricate a claim on Ustjurt. Uh, discovered Aragon cancelled access. Great Britain declared war upon France. Oh, joy. Joy to the world. Great Britain dis declares war. Against Aachen, Luxembourg, Ottomans, Pomeranian... Ottomans? Ah, really? Really, France? You're allied with the Ottomans. Uh, no. Definite no. Wait, what? I still... What? I... Second arm... Oh, my Kazan army. Okay. Yes, I will take them in as another army. Army of the Caucasus. Army of the Caucasus. I think it's spelled like this. If not, just let me know. Uh, we converted another place. So let's convert the next. Also, armory time. Auto saving. There we go. You can never... <clears throat> Excellent year. 20,000 freaking manpower. Holy crap. Um, yes, this is the army of the Caucasus, 1053. And my other armies are 1884. So I need one more cannon to be built here. 
Uh, eight more of these. One, two, three, four. Good news. Iron. Oh, they've discovered us. I said four, five, six, seven, eight. Has nine, makes us 27. So we need definitely not Cossacks, um, not mercenaries. So we need one, two, three more of these, and we have a full army. Actually brings us almost to our force limit of... We need two more for our force limits, just two. Ungrateful natives, them bastards. Didn't even break a sweat. Local manpower, how much would that increase? Eh, just 165, but recruitment time goes down. Down so far. Wow, we actually have a lot of naval equipment. Um, fur, doing well. Grain is a lot. Textile, ooh. Weapons. Anywhere? No. Let's just increase our fur production more. Another conversion. Zet you. Zet you. Did we? No, oh, Zetiro. I was like, Zeti Shu. That's over here. Interesting. Um. Oh yes, this army just combine there and become one bigger army. Oh, Lithuania and the rebels. Huh. Huh, so funny. Town hall. They don't have a town hall yet. Local tax modifier as well. There we go. People angered out. Huh. Where the hell is... What? All the way over here. Are you kidding me? Um... Hey, dude, dude, go fix that. Yeah, I'm I'm way too lazy to send someone there myself now. Um, we have... It's now a core, which means Earth Rampart. And over here. So, Japan is expanding. Apparently, I, maybe it's an idea to make them our buddies. So let's improve relations. Uh, yes, not the same religious group, so they would also never accept vassalization, but still. Something to dream about, vassalizing Japan. Um, treasuries, that's eh, okay. I'd rather go for armories. Ah, uh, yes, they have been converted. Counting houses, ooh, can still build a few. One, two, need one more, actually. And down here, need some more in the future. And let's make this one army. And now we have six 30,000 armies just roaming around, which means I want to see this. Let's go to total forces. We are number one by a grand margin. Where did France go? Oh my god. Are they doing it? Oh, no way. Wait, what? No, oh, what? It's plus 73 against Castile. Really? How's... What? Are they like... But st still, they're winning against Britain, but Britain has way more forces. Um, Shell Liaba. Very good. Uh, Bulgaria. Ooh, max relations with Bulgaria. Anyway, uh, where is it? No, not... An oh, no armory needed. Oh, well. Um, level Fortress... Oh, what? Oh, um, I will support the faction. More trade income, supposedly. Temp. Oh, what? I need so many temples. That's all. Mil that's all administrative. Mm, oh, Riga. Yes, you can have a canal, in Riga. I uh, suffered casualties. Wait, what? Where? Oh, I guess I know where. Let's see. That's them, because they're now in a region where there's a lot of attrition to be gained. Oh well. Um, let's see. Why are we moving lots of gold? Astrakhan, removing everything because, well, it's now completely my zone. So everyone is moving it into Novgorod. Everything is moved. Um, we don't control everything in Astrakhan yet, but soon. Actually, that's the one province I need there. And then there are still these two people moving it to the wrong direction. Huh. Um, Samarkand, we just gained a lot, that's true. Do I even need to have my... No, I don't even have need my merchant in here. I mean, everything is being pushed forward regardless, isn't it? 
I believe so. So I'm going to test that. So my Kazan trade no dude can come home. Because it shouldn't increase anyway. Shouldn't it? Um, and then I will send one to uh, transfer trade power um, while he's still on his way home. Oleg, yes. What? Oh my. That's better. Because there's a lot more gold being transferred in now. And because I control the entire node, there's no one else to do anything about the node. <laughs> so all the money is being transferred anyway. Making extremely use... Uh -huh. 35. I think this went up. I'm not as sure how much it went up, but it did go up. Um, trade company, more fur, sure thing. <laughs> more fur, good. Just roll in the furs. Uh, relation is stopped with Lithuania. That's fine. Enemies, Russia. Rivals, Bohemia, Hungary, and Sweden. Okay, okay. Still won't... Good, no, they got a kid. That's too bad, still the same alliance too. Hmm. France is winning its wars, but not that many forces in their armies. Um, Sweden access, sure you can have it. How is Norway do when did Norway lose in that war anyway? They did definitely not lose Cuba. I still don't know anything about Alaska. And these ships still have not seen anything over here. Are you kidding me? That's green, that's Portugal. Yep, that's Portuguese now. Bloody Portuguese. Ooh. Um, 67.2. 71.02. Well, it's an increase of 4-ish almost. A bit less now, somehow. Uh, yeah, value does increase and decrease consistently. Wow, two more armories, and I think we finished them all. Oh, we actually get some free gold. Always like free gold. Mints, arsenals. What can I still build in Muscovy, Moscow? Uh, road network and a level 5 fortress. I will build the Star Bastion then. We have the stock exchange just because money. That's enough reasons, isn't it? Money. Counting house. Ah, oh, yes. There's no... We can still build them here as well. Um, workshops need to be built here. And why can't we build it? Oh, we don't have the admin power. Now we do. And we needed a counting house here, which will be due next month. And that will be the end of this episode. So... This is just producing as much wine as possible, these three provinces. And here we go. There is it. That's it. That's it for now. Maybe another fortress somewhere. Eh, sure, why not? Give you a fortress on the coast. Ooh, coastline needs fortress. Anyway, um, yeah, Russia. We're expanding still. Uh, probably going into the tur Timurids next episode because it just looks a little bit weird. This worm, uh, this appendix of the Timurids, that, that's what it is. It's an append. Mind you, really? Oh my god. Should just take you here. Also, Japan, really silly. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Russia grandness, amazing. I will see you guys later.